We are Team Tiny Trap, and we're a group of students from Australia who like to build really small stuff. The stuff we build is on the order of nanometers. To help you understand how small that is, comparing a nanometer to a meter is roughly the same as comparing a marble to the size of the Earth. To build things on that scale, we use DNA. DNA is small, and its base pairing rules make it very predictable. Because of this, we can program it and then go buy it on the internet. We use a method called DNA origami to fold strands of DNA into different shapes, like smiley faces and triangles, and even 3D structures like spheres and boxes. These boxes aren't just cool. They have the potential to be used for targeted drug delivery, reducing harmful side effects in treatments such as chemotherapy. Targeted drug delivery can be broken down into three steps. Loading up a vessel with a molecular payload, such as a drug, tagging the vessel to allow it to seek a specific target cell, and then releasing the drug right where it needs to be. The first step is the hardest one, and that's the one we're interested in. Because trying to load a molecule into a vessel is a lot like trying to catch a moth in a matchbox. Except it's a billion times smaller, and you have no control over when the matchbox closes. Scientists have already designed vessels which can target specific cells and open where they are needed. However, they all rely on attaching the drug to the inside of the vessel. If we can free up that drug, we reckon it could be more effective than one that is stuck inside. Our team has designed a new DNA origami structure which captures cargo like a mousetrap. The box is made of two hollow halves joined by a hinge. And by over-twisting the DNA in that hinge, it behaves like a spring, holding the box tightly closed. To set the trap, we use double-stranded DNA as a brace, holding the box open against the torsional strain of the hinge. In order to spring the trap, we've engineered a modular payload system that comprises of two molecules, our drug of choice and a trigger. This trigger molecule is a cutting enzyme, which breaks the brace at a specific site. The result? The payload diffuses into the box, cuts the brace, and then the box slams shut, capturing the unbound payload inside. Now, our boxes are smaller than the wavelength of visible light, which means we can't see them. So to characterize our structure and prove that we made it, we learned a whole heap of new analysis techniques. From TERF and TAM to SACS and FRET. Basically, if it's an acronym, we've used it. And now, the results are in. We've designed and synthesized a novel DNA origami structure capable of responding to and capturing molecular cargo. By capturing this cargo, we've taken further steps to make truly targeted drug delivery a reality. In addition, our work provides valuable insight into the mechanical capabilities of spring-loaded DNA nanostructures. And possibly, a new way of catching moths. Here come Dad Boy.